Hey you guys, welcome to today's vlog. Currently on my way to the Grove. I wanna go do some shopping, not for myself, but um, well, maybe for myself. The Sephora sale just ended and there were a few things that I wanted to get, but they've been out of stock. So I'm just gonna go in store, see if they have it. I'm not gonna get the discount, but oh well. And then I need to go to Nike. I have a Zara return. Where else do I want to go? Victoria's Secret. And I want to look for some bedding. I won't find any at the Grove, but I want to find some new bedding. Maybe tomorrow I'll go to West Elm or something to see what I find. And then after the Grove, I'm going to go get my first ever sugaring, like Brazilian sugaring. I'm so nervous. I've never, ever, 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 ever done waxing or sugaring in my Brazilian area. I have done laser hair removal, which not that painful, but I've never done like waxing or sugaring. So I'm gonna give that a try, see if I end up liking it. And I hear that it's a little more painful if you go a few days before or a few days after your cycle and my cycle just ended so hooray for me. But I saw that she had availability today and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it and try it and see if I like it. So I'm definitely, I don't know if I'm gonna regret this. I don't know what to expect. Like I've obviously done waxing on my eyebrows and on my lip, like my upper lip but I've never done waxing anywhere else, not even in my underarms, so I don't really know what to expect. We're just gonna go for it. So that's kind of what's on the um, agenda for today. I'm also very hungry, and I think I'm gonna need a coffee. I woke up pretty early today, around 7.30. I'm trying to just stick to waking up around seven or eight in the morning. And I've been doing pretty good. I've also been really consistent in the gym, which I love that for myself. But at the same time, I woke up today just feeling a little groggy, a little tired. My eyes feel a little heavy because I went to sleep later, but I still woke up early. So I definitely need a little pick-me-up, a little coffee, a little sump. They have this cute coffee, like coffee shop at the Grove. I forget the name, but every time I go, the line is crazy long I don't know if it will be today because it's oh Tuesday and it's pretty early it's 1140 so I'm gonna check it out see if maybe there's no line if not I'll probably just get Starbucks or something I don't know Just left the Grove. I honestly didn't have a whole lot of luck. I went into Lululemon. I went into I went to Zara to do a quick return, but just like you know, walking around, I didn't really find a whole lot. I did grab some lunch though. I got some Chinese food. 
and now I'm headed to my appointment. I didn't get a chance to get coffee though and I really want one. The thing about coffee for me is it doesn't really actually do anything like it doesn't make me jittery or awake or anything. I just like the taste of it. And so right now I'm like craving. Craving a little cafecito. So maybe after this. And I'm actually a little early so I could stop by. But then I'll be late knowing, knowing myself. So I'd rather just wait. But it was nice to get to go to the Grove and just like walk around. And get some sun. Get some fresh air and do mostly window shopping. I did go to Sephora and I found one thing that I needed to get, which I'll show you. On my list right now, I have the Rare Beauty highlighters. I wanna get one of those, but I went to the one at the Grove and they're sold out. Like all shades, their shelves are completely empty. So I'm gonna have to order it online uh, because it's kind of hard to find a highlighter that's not dusty looking on my skin. So, that one I heard good things about. I have a few highlighters, but they haven't really been, been hitting for me. So at Sephora, all I picked up, oh, I'm lying, I got two things. I got a mini Laura Mercier translucent powder because I ran out and by the time I realized I needed to grab one, I was already at the register. So I just got, got one of the mini ones that was sitting right there. The other thing I got is this Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. So this is supposed to be able to be used wet or dry. You just put a small amount and you're able to style your hair however you want. And you're supposed to be able to brush out your hair without a bunch of residue in your hair, which is what I need. I'm assuming it's like a thick cream that you just rub between your hands and you put in your hair. And I mainly want to use that for the flyaways I get. Because today I had to put a bunch of hairspray and I had to use my um hair stick but that for sure oh how cute there's a little plant shop right here i cannot see anything how cute i think i can park here but i don't know i can't tell no parking 12 to 3 on tuesday gosh of course of course good thing i'm early though i can go look for parking somewhere else have you guys ever tried F45? Because there's an F45 here. Last week I tried a new fitness class. It's called Sanctuary Fitness. I went to their gym and I liked it. However, I don't know if I'm a fan of circuit training. I felt very overwhelmed afterwards. I just felt like I didn't really, let me not say that. I felt like I got in a good workout, but I didn't feel like I was precise or like my form was correct. I just felt like I was rushed and like trying to get through the circuit versus actually doing things properly, if that makes sense. And I just walked out of there feeling flustered as hell. So, but I, I know F45 is also circuit training. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to try that or if I just want to stick to weightlifting at the gym. Oh no. Ugh. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I know I'm gonna end up liking the results, but god dang. Why do you actually gotta put yourself through this stuff to be cute? <laughs> A little gum. Mmm. I need like one more week of growth oh gosh but the thing about me is I like like soon as hair starts coming out I'm like shave it like please I need it smooth oh, another week I don't know if I could do it y'all I don't know if I could do it 
And she was like, hang in there for me like one more week. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna try. But I just, I don't know. I just have never, I really wanna try it. But she's like, it won't even make sense to try it. Like it's not really gonna pull. So I'm like, shit. I never thought I was gonna be sad about not being able to wax. I think I was just like the hype, the the adrenaline, everything was coming to me and I'm like, okay, let's do it. I finally just mentally prepared. Oh my gosh. I know y'all are probably like, and I was, I was gonna vlog on my phone too and everything. Hi, I'm calling to see if you have any availability for a pedicure today around 2.45 or 3. Let me check. Okay. Or they say I can do 4 o'clock. Okay, let's do... Because I have 4? Yeah, let's so just... 3 o'clock to 5. Okay, I'll see at 4 o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I ended up just booking a pedicure. I just got my nails done not too long ago. So, we're not going to do that. But I booked a pedi because I haven't done a pedi in a minute. Might as well. And since I'm out there, I'm going to a nail salon that I recently went to that I really like the way that they did my nails. It's called Nailed It London. They have one in Glendale. I think they have another location around here too, but that's the one I went to and I liked it. So I'm gonna get my pedi there, see how they do for pedicures. And then I need to go to the Glendale Galleria because I wanna uh, find some stuff there. Uh, there is a Victoria's Secret there though, so I'm gonna go there first. Kill some time, because my nail appointment's at four, and right now it's two, so I'll just kill time. Um, do what I need to do in the meantime. Just made it back home from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna do a Trader Joe's haul because I don't think I've done a Trader Joe's haul on here in a while or have I even done one I don't know but that's what we're gonna do now I didn't pick up a whole lot this time just because I just went to the regular grocery store and I got stuff delivered from Walmart grocery a few days back so I just kind of picked up some things that I had an eye on. I have two bags full, so not that bad, but they're heavy. I don't know what's going on with me today, but I, I ate maybe two hours ago and I'm already starving again. So I'm gonna break open one of these. There's a certain meal. I'm gonna have to move you guys because you're in the background of my thumbnail picture. But there's this meal that my boyfriend liked. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. And that was a few weeks back. And then today when I went, the cashier was like, you know how they always ask you, oh, you know, what are you doing for the rest of the day? Or what were you up to today, the cashier? So we were kind of like talking and then he was like, oh, are you going to make dinner tonight? Or are you gonna just warm up one of these? And I'm like, I'm probably gonna warm up one of these. And he's like, well, this one is really good. Um, it's called the Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi okay i'm gonna put y'all down though so you can like y'all don't need to see me y'all need to see these groceries so first off is that uh fried rice with kimchi hopefully it's good it sounds pretty good so i'm gonna try this tonight it seems like it's like rice beef veggies what else is in here oh there's a lot of stuff in here i'm not even gonna try to read all that but yeah i'm gonna put it in the freezer for now though because i don't want it to thaw out too much i got the crunchy slaw salad this has white chicken 
lettuce, cabbage, carrots, crispy chow mein noodles, and peanut dressing. I don't know what it is about salads like this that have the crunchy noodles or just crunchy anything, like Asian salads I love, so. Got that to give it a try. I got this grilled lemon pepper white chicken meat with sauce. I just figured this would be easy to throw into any recipes or even just to eat by itself when I want some extra protein in my meal. Nothing fancy, but you literally just heat it up and serve it. It's already cooked up. This sounded bomb and it has a lot of protein, 23 grams of protein per quesadilla. I don't like saying quesadilla, I'm gonna say quesadilla. <laughs> but it has uh, 23 grams of protein per quesadilla. It's the Southwest style chicken quesadilla. It's just like this. I got some egg bites. I wanted to try the cheddar cheese with bacon ones and I also got the egg white bites with just cheese, spinach, and kale. This one doesn't look that good, I can't even lie. You can't really see it, but it just, doesn't look that appetizing, but I'm hoping it'll do what it need to do. Mango juice. These have hella sugar, but it's mango juice. So yeah, I was looking for um, the sparkling pomegranate to mix with this, but they didn't have it. They only had watermelon and strawberry and I wasn't feeling that. So next time I go, I'm um, gonna have to get the pomegranate one because I heard it's a good like mocktail mix. So yeah, I also got just frozen salmon, the lemon herb butter salmon, this one right here. I just don't like that it has a skin on it, I can't lie, but it is what it is. I've never seen this or tried this. This is the pesto chicken breast. Uh, it's literally already marinated and you just throw it on the stove or in the air fryer, wherever you want to cook it and it's already good to go. So I wanna try this, maybe make a pesto grilled chicken sandwich or just on its own with some rice and potatoes or something. We'll see if that's good. This also sounded amazing. This is a Cuban style citrus garlic bowl. It has chicken thighs, seasoned rice, black beans, plantains, and it has a zesty citrus and garlic sauce. Sound bomb. The plantains is what kind of did it for me. Not a lot. And then I'm gonna save my. I like to save these bags because whenever I need to take something somewhere, I prefer using these bags over like the plastic ones. So. I like to just fold them up and keep them. Oh, and of course, how can I forget? I normally don't get tulips or gravitate towards tulips. I'm not a tulip gal, but I did want to put some tulips in my bedroom just to add some color because my bedroom, I need to decorate more, but I was planning on putting them right here. Just to add a little color and move that stuff out of the way, but I thought this color was pretty. It's like a bright, it looks like a reddish orangey color. But yeah, got some flowers, fresh flowers. And I got these uh, packs of rice because I like to just have rice, easy to cook, where I don't have to do stove top, nothing. This is the organic jasmine rice. You just microwave it and it's good to go in three minutes. So I got two of those because it only comes in a pack of three, right? Yeah, three each. And I like these because they're frozen. I surprisingly don't have a lot of frozen vegetables and I should because again, a lot of my veggies end up going to waste in the fridge if I don't use them throughout the week. So just having frozen stuff would be good whenever I need it. So I just got some frozen broccoli. Nothing fun. Some frozen blueberries for my morning smoothies. I just got some milk, nothing fancy again. And the last two things I got in here, I've never tried this either. This is their honey walnut shrimp. It's crispy battered shrimp with candied walnuts. I'm hoping this is fire because of the other, like I've tried the orange chicken, I've tried the chicken fried rice, all really good. 
so I'm hoping this is a hit also. And then last but not least is this uh, ravioli. It's ricotta and spinach filled ravioli, ravioli with tomato basil sauce. Looks just like that. So I'm gonna throw all this stuff in the fridge. That's everything I got. I feel like I have a pretty good amount of groceries for the week. I already have a bunch of drinks. I already got some other fruits and stuff the other day. Yeah, I have fruits, juices, yogurts, spinach, water, bacon, cheese, grapes that I've been munching on, uh, salami, like in this adult Lunchables. I got these from, I think I'm from Target. They're like Lunchables, but they're a little more fancy looking. <laughs> All right, we are getting ready to head out to an event. I was kind of teeter-tottering between going or not. I was in a row, sitting on the couch, eating grapes, editing pictures. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> um, so it's an event for Creed. They're launching a new spring floral fragrance. Um, so I just kind of threw on an outfit. I was already glad because I just finished uh, getting some sponsored content. My hair was already done. I was like, might as well just get dressed and head out. So my makeup is nice and pretty and soft. It's all stuff from Revlon. Um, that's who I filmed the content for. And it looks freaking bomb. And then my outfit, this I wore for my birthday like two years ago. It's from Naked Wardrobe. It is a top and then some high-waisted, really sheer pants. And then I'm just wearing it as a set together. And they're like boot cut pants, but I'm <laughs> wearing Uggs right now. I'm gonna switch over to just the clear heels that I wear all the time. But I'm just wearing these because I don't like to drive with heels on. And that is my outfit for tonight's event. I don't know what to expect. I've never been to a fragrance event. I've been invited to a few, but I've never actually gone to one. So um, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and see what's up. <laughs> This fragrance is always all about spring. Like globally, this is a very successful fragrance okay. for us in the spring. And we gave her a new fresh look. Redone the bottle, it's reimagined, and spring flower, it's all about femininity. Inspired by Flora. And Flora is the goddess of flowers and spring. Women taking back their femininity, right? Yes. So it's feminine, fruity, but it's also rich. So in the base you have sandalwood with ambergris, so it has a nice warm sensual feeling. So yes, it, it starts does. fresh, fruity, floral, but then it turns like warm mm -hmm. and soft. It's actually I very love nice. That. Such Your a boyfriend's gonna love it. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure how busy I was gonna be. I was gonna be the only one. Ready? Yes. Go. I just made it back from home goods and I'm gonna show you what I got <laughs> I think I might have found some new artwork for the living room as you guys know I haven't hung up the mirrors that are above the couch yet because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep them 
but I ended up finding these just on a whim and I think they might they might work I was trying to avoid art like this because it's like there's no meaning to it there's no nothing to it but I'm having a hard time finding good art that would go in this space so I thought okay you just can't go wrong with a classic neutral painting so I got two of them I luckily found two and right away I was like put these in the front for me they were $79.99 each I'm gonna pull them out and I found some florals a pillow just a few things So I found, I was looking for a different pillow for my bedroom, something that has some texture to it but that was neutral and I found this one. It is a DKNY pillow but I'm probably going to face it this way where there's no label. It's just a neutral pillow that has a nice texture to it but it feels really cozy. I'm probably going to take off the cover and wash it though because who knows yeah and then i found this floral arrangement not sure i mean the green leaves kind of look real kind of not kind of does kind of doesn't i can't really tell we'll see i had a terrible time sleeping last night partially because the comforter that i have is very heavy and hot because it's a, an actual feather comforter or du comforter duvet you know what i'm talking about so i ended up going to look for a new comforter and i got this one from vince camuto it's a queen one which the one that i have right now is technically an oversized queen but i'm gonna see if this one will cover my entire bed it seems like it would be a lot cooler just because of the material that it's made out of and i also got another one just in case that one didn't work out and i got it in a this is a king size, but it's 104 by 90. I realized I spent a lot, but I got stuff that I needed. And I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but the things I did get were obviously a little more pricey. But uh, last thing I got were bath towels. I needed new bath towels. These are super soft and lightweight. The brand of these is Eco Existence. And I just liked the color, liked the look of them. They're really nice. So I got four of them and I got two sets of the same ones in the washcloth version because I like to use these for my face. Another day, another event. <laughs> so this, I mean, this is going to be a whole weekly few days of my life type of vlog because i've just been on the go on the go and on the go so i'm getting ready right now to go to a laneige event part of me wants to just throw my hair up in a bun but i already started curling it i only have 20 minutes pretty much to get ready if I want to get there right at two when it starts but usually at events like I don't mind being there like 30 minutes after it starts but this event's from two to four it's kind of I'm assuming it's kind of like a pop-up shop kind of thing because it's at a cafe which seems really cute I don't know what I'm gonna wear so that's gonna be fun but um, after that I think this event is by The Grove, and I want to go to The Grove again. I want to go to Zara to see if they have cute vacation pieces. I want to go see what I can find. I just ordered some cute sandals and shoes off of Amazon. One of them's supposed to get here tomorrow, and then the other ones are going to get here within the next few days. But I've just kind of been picking up pieces here and there for my New York vlog or my New York prep vlog. I want to say like two people asked me if I was vlogging that trip and obviously I didn't vlog it but the trip that I am for sure going to be getting some content for for YouTube is the Punta Cana Dominican Republic trip that I'm going to be going on with a few of my girls uh if you don't know what I'm talking about so I am going to Punta Cana in September with some of my supporters I'll say supporters because I don't like using like 
subscribers or like followers or whatever but with a few of my girls that follow me like on instagram and stuff like that i'm basically hosting a trip and a few girls are coming on the trip and i do still have slots for that by the way i don't know if any of you are still interested in going on that um i think so far it's a total of is it 14 of us that are going but i still have some slots available just in case but the slots will be closing out soon i want to say they close out next month in june if i'm not mistaken but uh yesterday as a matter of fact we had our first zoom call as a group only a few of the girls were able to hop on because it was kind of like a quick call but just from that call alone i can tell this trip is going to be so fun everybody just seems very chill laid back fun good energy and i'm just i mind you i've never done anything like this so i was a little bit scared because i'm like geez like what if i don't know like it's a group it's a group trip you know you just never know what the vibes are going to be but no i can just tell this trip like just off the call we had is going to be freaking amazing so that's the trip right there that i will for sure be vlogging um i think for me mostly girls trips are trips that i'm like willing to vlog for because us as women we like we like to do a lot of stuff we like to pull out the camera take pictures and take a picture of me and all that stuff like that's just what we do so i think that's gonna be the trip right there where i get to actually vlog a lot um more but new york the new new york trip was definitely more family matters that trip i actually went out to new york to meet my boyfriend's family for the first time so i definitely was not going to be vlogging that so for that trip i mostly posted a little bit here and there on instagram after the the event that i'm going to go to right now i want to stop by and go to zara i also need to make a return at nike and i have been seeing on tiktok a lot of people buying stuff from zara that's good for vacation so i'm excited to see what they have in store hopefully the zara at the grove comes through because i know some zaras don't carry everything or all the good stuff but the grove's usually pretty good because it's a, the grove's a very touristy la spot so they usually have some pretty good stuff in there and it feels so easy now like something clicks my hair is pretty much done this is just gonna have to do and i'm gonna use this color wall this is new the color wall pop and lock high gloss finish it has birth control and uv protection it's like a shimmery hair oil and it's thick honey it is thick And honestly, I think I'm going to take this outfit with me in the car to change into after when I go to the Grove so I can be more chill, comfy for my shopping. If what I decide to wear is like not comfortable. And for my lips, honestly, we're going to keep it very simple. This Huda Beauty Sandy Beige lip pencil Sephora collection cream lip stain. This is light, but I like to just add a little dab of that. Okay, and then um, 
I do want to spray my face with this because I want my makeup to last me. And then just like a little dab of my Fenty Gloss in Fenty Glow Heat. Just so my lips aren't like crusty, you know. That's the lip combo. That's all I'm gonna do, really. Okay, let's go get dressed. Okay, here's the outfit. I wanted to go cute and comfy, so this is what I threw on. This top is from, I think, Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo, one of the two. My everyday bag, this is TJ Maxx leggings are amazon and then i have just some full leather pointy flats to just kind of go with the bag and complete my look i wanted to keep it like polished but still comfortable with the flats so that's what i'm wearing <laughs> let's go ahead and head out to the vent I get in the car so I can talk because it's kind of loud out here. Goodness! Ugh. Gosh. <sighs> it is hot, which I love, but I didn't expect for it to be hot today. Okay, so just left the event. It was a really cute event. It was really packed in there though. Like, you gotta go in there, get your stuff, and I it's definitely more of a like mingling grab your things and go kind of event for events usually it's like that or it's like a panel style where they have like somebody talking or it'll be more of like a party this was more of a stop by grab a latte grab your products maybe talk to like a few people and then head out because it was in a cafe so it was small it was at carrera cafe actually here in um la but yeah, cute little latte. I got a vanilla latte. I meant to ask for it iced, like I said, but it's all good. Let me do a quick haul of the stuff that they gave us. So they gave us like a big old bag and they also gave us cookies. We got to pick a latte and a few cookies. These look so good. I don't know what flavors these are, but one's giving like Oreo, the other one's giving matcha white mocha, and the other one I think is like uh, chocolate chip maybe. That's that. Good old Laneige sleeping mask. If you know, you know this product is a bomb. Does what it needs to do. And then they gave us my favorite, the lip glowy balm. This is really good also. One of the only lip balms really that actually hydrates my lips then this is new the well new to me the hydro uv defense sunscreen it has spf 50 i've never tried this before or seen it matter of fact so that and then the cream skin i think this was one of the products that they were mostly focusing on for this event it's a toner and a moisturizer that helps to condition nourish and firm the skin twin one hybrid that combines cream with liquid yeah it's a cream and liquid toner for normal to dry skin let me see what this looks like yeah this was one of the products for sure that they were showcasing 
I don't know if it's a, okay. It's not, I thought it was a spray, but it's literally, you just put it onto a cotton ball or a cotton round. It looks just like this. And there are a few more things in here. I've never tried any of Laneige skincare aside from their lip stuff. So I'm really looking forward. Oh, mist pump. Oh, okay, so the toner, that's neat. So you can use the toner on a cotton round if you want and just kind of like dump it on there. Or you can put this Mr. What is it, a Mr. Pump? Mist pump? <laughs> Put the mist pump on there and use it to spritz your face so it's kind of like a two-in-one which i think is neat i prefer a good mist moment so i'll probably add the pump on there and then this is the laneige water bank blue hyaluronic cream moisturizer oh that looks cute the packaging is really nice hold on and it came with the spatula that's what the product looks like and then it comes with the spatula to go ahead and scoop it out water bank is giving oily skin like it's for oily skin oh it's for dry skin normal to dry skin usually anything that's like water based or gel based they market it for oily skin but this one says it's for normal to dry so uh, maybe i'll try it out as like a nighttime moisturizer and last but not least is the water sleeping mask, which I'm guessing is similar to the lip sleeping mask. You wear it overnight. Never tried this either, but it's supposed to give you deep hydration, glow, has probiotics, skin clarity and texture while you improve skin clarity and texture while you sleep. And it looks like this cute so that's everything they gave us for the event aside from the latte and the cookies oh and this like newspaper cute little info sheet but um yeah the the event was uh definitely like an in and out quick thing because it was packed in there i didn't really see a lot of familiar faces to be honest i saw a few but not anybody that i you know kick it with. <laughs> kick it with but yeah uh now i low-key want to change here can i pull it off i think i can pull it off there's like a little maybe i should pull it into like a neighborhood or something because i'm on a main street but i'm a professional car changer so um, i might just one too because the street is busy but not super like cool and then i have my nike bag right here for the stuff i need to return i don't even know if i have my receipt that's the crazy part because <sighs> that's fine it's not like i don't go to the grove every damn week <laughs> anyway just about god and i gave myself i bought an hour of parking on the parking meter because i was like you know in case you are there a little longer i was in there for a good 10 minutes max oh and i need to uh, there's a blush that i want to get from sephora because i'm gonna be there but the blush i want to get is the anastasia beverly hills blush trio the thing is, I already have that blush, but the other thing is that that blush is probably a good four years old. Well, the blush is called Peachy Love. It's a blush trio, it looks just like this, and it's one of my favorite peachy blush palettes, and I just, I'm gonna need that for this trip because it gives everything that I need to give. It has like a really nice tangerine color in there, very light orangey color. And then it has a peach and it has more of a pink. So what I do is I usually mix the tangerine with the peach or I just put my brush in all three of them to be honest and it gives the most beautiful peachy color. And I really don't need any other blush aside from that. That's probably the only blush I'm gonna take with me on this trip. Okay, I'm nice and changed. I low-key want a cookie. I haven't had lunch yet, but just 
see how it went from she's going to a influencer event to girl on the go chill vibe when it's 75 degrees outside though it's kind of crazy okay let's try this good let's do i'll do the matcha looking one it looks like this which is this one Not Stephanie Macadamia nap. I don't know if it's matcha. That's fire. Let me try the one that looks like an Oreo. What? Mm. These cookies are so moist. They're so good. This one's good too. I think I like the other one. The green one. And then let's try just a good old cookie. Uh, chocolate chip cookie. Mm hmm. They're all good. They're all moist. Now I'm going to go with the green macadamia matcha looking one. Mm, 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 mm. Continue with the reviewing with those cookies. And I know I was just saying 75 degrees and hot coffee's crazy, but the little treats and snacks and trinkets that they have at events is probably my favorite part. And at the Creed event, the take home flower bouquets that they handed everybody to take home. I honestly think that every event should have that like everybody gets to take home a tiny bouquet of flowers you put in a vase at home that is like so cute and such a nice touch low-key gonna add that to like my future events archives things I want to do because that's such a cute touch to do at like baby showers weddings I don't know weddings would be cute or like bridal showers a girl's night like that is so so cute that's such a personal especially me because i love flowers any time of year for any reason just i love flowers so that would be very on brand for me if i did something like that i love that the one thing about la they're gonna make you fight for your life when it comes to parking that's my only 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 gripe with living in the city i love everything about it i haven't even really given you guys an update i don't think about how i've been feeling about the city life and like living a lot more central i freaking love it and i don't regret moving here at all like everything about it i just love how central it is to everything events like this are like 15 20 minutes away whereas before they were an hour and a half away because of all the crazy traffic don't get me wrong la within itself there's a lot of traffic here but i've i was born and raised here so traffic to me is nothing like even when i went out to new york um my boyfriend's mom was like saying how when they came to la she felt like it was a lot of traffic but i actually feel the opposite i feel like here in new york it was just like lord i felt like everywhere we were going it kind of took longer than it would here because you have to like take the train or you have to flag down a taxi or get an uber or something it just felt like transportation what took up a majority of our day whereas here i don't feel that way for some reason maybe because i'm used to it but i don't mind driving around like the beautiful views like right now driving through oh you can barely see but i'm driving through like a really cute neighborhood like 
really pretty houses yeah there might be traffic here and there but for the most part i just put on some good music and enjoy the ride like i just i don't mind it but where was i even going with that yeah aside from the parking in la everything else top tier the vibes the restaurants how easy it is to drive to and from different events even like when we go out to concerts or like little things every there's a lot going on in LA there's never a day where I'm just like bored or nothing I can go out grab dinner and drinks at a local restaurant and it's like a vibe or I can hit up like one of my girlfriends hang out it's just I love it I love everything about it um, but what I was saying to go with that, the parking is my only complaint thus far. That is what I think also makes LA more expensive is usually apartment buildings, you have to pay additional to park in a parking structure in your apartment complex, um, which is like, yo, I'm already paying hella money for rent, why am I? on top of that paint to park where i live like what else i'm gonna do <laughs> like where else i'm gonna park but that and then wherever you go meter parking 20 bucks for parking uh you gotta walk like that's that's the only thing i would say but other than that i wish i would have done it sooner i can't lie the only thing though is that I'm not even gonna lie to y'all a few years ago I could not afford to live anywhere near the city out of out of question uh, like no there was absolutely no way one of the things that I find insane though and me and my family my cousins and me and my one of my friends we talk about this a lot is how I've somehow manifested living in the places that I never thought I was going to be able to live in. This is turning into like a really cute, intimate car chat right now. But for example, when I used to live in Chino Hills, I never thought I would be able to live in such a nice suburban city, let alone Chino Hills. Chino Hills is beautiful, but it's expensive and before living there i want to say a year before i moved there i what are you doing <laughs> he's like throwing up signs i don't know what he's talking about but a year before i moved there i um drove out there more so to just look like one day i want to live in in a city like this it was just so nice all the houses are nice the apartments are nice it's very quiet lots of greenery just beautiful 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 but um yeah i just when i drove through there to look i just knew there's no way i'm ever gonna be able to live here and i could sit here and be like yeah i I knew one day like I was gonna live there or like I manifested no I I would tell myself like one day like I wish I wish I wish but it just did not really ever fully feel attainable and then when it happened I was like whoa like I was just driving around here not too long ago wishing and hoping that I would one day be able to live here that was that instance and then when it came down to this place i actually took a photo in front of this building once and it was about a year before i moved there too if i'm not mistaken so me and one of my girlfriends we met up we're gonna go have lunch and i was like can you help me take some like content photos just real quick and she was like yeah of course so right before we went to lunch we stopped by we were just kind of driving around and i was looking for a nice building to take pictures in front of and i was like oh this is a perfect spot so we pulled over there and parked. I changed just like I changed right now in the car. I changed to my outfit. Um, you know, she helped me take the pictures in front of the building and that was it. And then we were about to leave. I was like, this building is so nice. Like imagine living here. I'm like, I don't even wanna know how much this costs. I decided to actually go on my phone and look at the price and I was like, there's no way. Like there's no way I would pay this much for rent or be able to 
do everything I want to do and live here. Like, there's just no way. I live in that building now. I do. <laughs> I really do. And it is not even something that I don't even know how to explain it because when I found this building, and I told you guys this in my vlog, when I found this building, it was the very last building that I looked at because, again, even in that moment, I was like, I don't. Hold on, I'm getting a little ticket. Even in the moment of me uh, looking for an apartment more recently, I am convinced to this day that I have imposter syndrome. Like where you, you know you can do these things or you have the means to do these things, but you don't believe it yourself. So it seems unattainable. I'm like queen of that. And I love that and hate that about myself. It's pros and cons to it. But I just, when I was looking at apartments, even more recently before I moved into this one, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to live in this one. But let me just go look. And that day I was actually supposed to have a shoot and I just, I canceled it and I was like, let me just go look, see what they're talking about, see what the price is. I just, I don't know if I wanna pay that much for rent. It wasn't even more so like a thing of not being able to pay the rent. It was more so like, yo, I don't want to pay this much for rent. And it ended up being the place that I chose and that I live in now. And I'm living in there, thank God, at peace, able to afford it, able to, to still do things that I like, buy things that I like. And I just, I say all this to say, just freaking go for it sometimes it's scary when i thought about quitting my job at sephora years ago it was scary and that's not me saying to just do things elements or just to jump and not think but sometimes you got to take risks to get to where you would have never imagined that you would be and on that note <laughs> let's go and do some shopping this top is not supposed to go like this but i'm just wearing it like this because i like the way it looks tighten this and put it higher but the pants are kind of like tight right here if you can see in that mirror over there I just these are an extra small so I think I'm gonna grab them in a small but this might be really cute I don't know that I would take this with me but I love this fire look I need to get the pants in a small. These are an extra small. This looks, I'm taking this with me. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. I feel like you can never go wrong with a dress like this. Or a trip. It's like a baby doll white dress. I'm about to close out this vlog, but I ended up putting the artwork that I found in here. I'm closing my window because it's really loud. 
but I'm thinking that I might I might do this I was thinking at first to do mirrors just like I used to have them I just had to find mirrors that were this size but I'm kind of thinking this might be the way to go because I already have so many mirrors in my apartment and then I think oh, the other one's over there on that side and then in the living room I'm thinking of getting a third mirror and actually hanging up the mirrors above the couch I'll show you right now but what are we thinking here like does that go I, I know it goes I'm just like will I regret no I don't think I'll regret doing art here I just next to nightstands or on nightstands I usually see mirrors and then artwork there but I'm kind of thinking of just doing artwork I don't know if I'm going to keep these here but that's where I'm thinking of hanging these up. And I just bought a third mirror. I'm gonna scoot these two over, put the third mirror and get those hung up. And that's gonna be what's gonna go above the couch because I like that it opens up my living room a lot more. The light bounces off of the mirror so it brings more light to this side of my apartment as well. I just, I like the look. I tried removing the mirrors to see if I would like it with no mirrors there, but it just looks odd. So I think I'm gonna keep the mirrors, put a third one up scoot it over and it'll kind of look like windows but they're obviously mirrors and it'll keep my apartment open airy and fresh so this brought around the way instantly connected when he caught my eye nothing ever was the same couldn't seem to get his picture out my mind then we took it all the way i could have sworn he was just my type then he he said to me you're 